So these days I've been getting back into Flaming Hot Cheetos just because they're fucking delicious. At least for me. But, uh... Yeah, this is, um... Eating a ton of them at once is not a good idea. I say as I eat a ton of them. Oh, what is up everyone? Green Zermal here. I am here with more Fossil Fighters Champions. Last time, in, last time we conquered the Fairbones Brigade base. I think I said it right, yeah. This time... We got our finals match, and yes, I my mouth is on fire right now because I decided to shove a ton of, a ton of flaming hot cheetos down my throat, and yes, it's a mistake. <laughs> I don't really have any preparations I need to make, mostly because I always use the same five vivasaurs. No, I do want to go to my- Let us go! Pardon me, but you're Akari? Rupert's already standing by, so if you're ready. What? Rupert did what? Um, I don't really know how to tell you this, but Rupert... Well, his father just came and took him away. Digga, digga! It's awful! It's so awful, dig digga! Rupert! Digga! Y you gotta... You need to... I, I think I don't know what to do! Come, come on, digga! Okay. Do not make me repeat myself. You will withdraw from the cup, and you will do so now. But father, why? I've come so far. I refuse to accept this. I analyzed the fossil battle data of your opponent, this Akari person. I then used this data to run battle simulations against your team. The results were disheartening. Your chance of victory is only 50%. This event will be seen by people... If this event will be seen by people the world over. If you lose, it will cause an irreparable, irreparable harm to Fossil Dig Incorporated. We cannot take that risk. <clears throat> Therefore, you must withdraw for the for the good of the company. That's madness. There's no way to tell who will win a battle until you step into the stadium. And besides, I want to battle Akari. F I want to battle Akari. It's fun. I expect that kind of meaningless tripe from third-rate fighters, but not from you. I never should have allowed you to enter this tournament. It was a mistake I do not intend to repeat. We will address the issue of your selfish pet petulance later. <clears throat> the company helicopter is waiting. Let's go. Wait. <clears throat> Are these your friends, Rupert? Are they the ones who have filled your head with nonsense? They are my friends, and they have taught me invaluable lessons about the joys of battling. Very well. If fun is your desire, I will simply have to remove that from the equation. Rupert, I challenge you and one of your friends to a fossil battle. There is no place for fun in fossil battles, and it's time for you to remember that. That thing is a fossil battle computer developed by Fossil Dig Incorporate. A fighter can use it to control two Vivasaur teams at the same time. Please, Akari, I need your help. You have to join me in this battle against my father. The team of Akari and Rupert is the best ever, Digga. Can't lose. I have run the numbers. The odds of you beating me are less than 5%. My victory is a foregone conclusion. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, you're battling me, and the one thing you gotta know about me is I am the biggest bad luck charm you will ever know of. So let's do this. We're gonna bring more Flaming Hot Cheetos, maybe we get some more adrenaline. Um, beat the shit out of the one in front of you. Punch it! 701, Jesus Christ! Ow. Bringing, um, bringing Nick Dub was probably a mistake. The Earth, if I recall. Fuck, I should have brought Lugmos. Mm, get some chip damage. I did nothing. Crap. <clears throat> mm. 
Yeah, Nick was dead. No. All right. Um. Ow. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm at my max, so I can charge. Depots. And then I'll have, um... I'll try Torpedo. That did even less. But it should be enough for, um, for a Gigaraja to finish at least one of them off. Alright, um, I really want to try Rajaterra, but I used, uh, that's fine. Um, you're a bigger threat. Jesus Christ. Inflame. Not as powerful as charge, but still pretty good. your ass on me. <laughs> or my Tricera. Alright, punch it. Critical. But that wasn't enough? Oh, well. Finish it with a tackle! <laughs> of course it's a critical hit. We did it! I really need to get some milk. My, my tongue is on fire. For Jesus Christ, what the fuck is happening? Okay, I'm back. Got my milk. Got my flaming hot cheetos for more adrenaline. And I've got my control, uh, my control factor. Giga Rage is rank 13. Lugmos is rank 13. Is that it? Yep. Take that. I I don't understand. <clears throat> My simulations assured me a victory. Listen to me, father. I want to face Akari in the final. I want to battle without any restrictions. Even if I lose, I'll never regret that I tried. <clears throat> oh, Rupert. It's time I told you the truth. I wasn't just trying to keep you shackled for the sake of the company. What? You're always skilled at battling. Even as an infant, the joy on your face when you won a battle was something to behold. I vowed early on that you would never know the bitter sting of defeat. <clears throat> I only wanted you to be happy. Now I see that I'm, that may have been wrong. Father, I look forward to seeing you battle in the final. Thank you, Father. Hooray, Digga Dig! We've solved all the problems! Again! Now come on, Digga, you need to get ready for the final! I'll be waiting in the common room, Akari. Alrighty. Hey, Akari! Pauline told me what happened in like two seconds. Two. 0 0.2 seconds, excuse me. I can't count time. Pauline told me what happened. I can't c believe you and Rupert beat the Fossil Dig CEO. Rupert's got guts. I'll give him that much. Oh, and you too. But me? Um, yeah, never mind. It's nothing. I want to cheer for you with everything I have. I want to see the awesomest battle, fossil battle ever. Cool beans, bro. I'm gonna, yeah, let me go run over because it's time for our final match. Go to your final match. Yes. Well, here we are, Akari. Do you remember when I said I didn't care if I lost so long as I tried? Well, that's not quite accurate, because I don't intend to lose to you today. I'm sure you feel the same. 
I would ask for nothing else. Now let us do our best, Akari. The next match is Rupert versus Akari. Combatants should enter the stadium immediately. Let's go, Akari. Let's show them what a true fossil battle is. Alrighty, who do I want to go in this battle with? Nikto is an obvious. I want to do Lugmos, but Lugmos is at a disadvantage because all of uh, all of Rupert's teams are uh, are one the same Vivisaur and two they're uh, water. <clears throat> but I also want to, I want to give Alice some time to shine. So switch it up there and there and there. All right, lead with Allo, Nikto as support, and Giga Raja as backup. Listen to this music. Now this is fitting of a final match. As well as an aloe literally drop kicking an opponent. <laughs> Alright, so it's been a while since I've done this battle, so there's not too much I know. What I do know, however, is that Mapo is capable of Law of the Jungle. I'm pretty sure. If I'm pretty sure he's capable of Law of the Jungle, and if that's the, if that's the case, then focusing on one of one of them is not a bad strategy. <clears throat> if you know you don't care about fighting that that w one individual the entire time, because likely Mapo King is going to go for Law of the Jungle and take the LP of one of these Mapos. <clears throat> Let's spray bubbles at me. And shit. I'm glad I. Oh, crap. Yeah, he's enraged. Alright. See if you can take out. See if you can take out, Ma take out Maple King. Because Maple King's the real threat. Yeah, not even a fu not even a charged Giga Giga thing could do it. I don't think. Yeah, Al is just short. Oh yeah, attack! Perfect. Uh, Nikto, dear, be a deer and please take out and please take out Maple King. It took, yeah, that Maple King took out, oh dear god, you have a max of 500. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be in for a world of hurt in a second. Uh, god damn it, you enraged him too. That was over half Giga Righteous HP. Um, I'll rotate. Not that I didn't want to do that. I just want to put Aloe in front. And then Aloe combo. <clears throat> just drop kicking opponents is funny. Up, oh, got the excite! Damn it, you've been getting really lucky with that. Have Nick to attack from the back. I don't quite have quite enough to do anything else.
Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Alright, um... Hmm. How do I want to go about this, then? I can do an... I can do a Nikto Hurricane. <clears throat> uh, you're a bigger threat. Egg Hurricane! That is a lot of damage! That's a lot of damage! Um... And we'll have you charge. Please don't kill him. God fucking damn it. I said don't kill him, but enraging is not going to be much better. <clears throat> well, I'm putting all my hope in this next strike. Um, let me work. Wait, no, I can't. I won't have enough FP. Alright, go for it. Miss. Yep. That's the downside to enragement. It's entirely up to chance, and I have terrible luck. And I think that might be the end of your Garaja. Nope, but he's still in rage. Yeah, Nick, though, this is entirely up to you. Go for it. Nope, not enough. <clears throat> Wreck. All right. <clears throat> Is that gonna be enough? Yep. Is it the first time we've seen Giga Raji get defeated? Oh, but you made a mistake. Wrong way. Kill that motherfucker. And that's the end of it. Level 12! Nikto's level 13! Tresera's level 13! Ah, I shoved too many flaming hot Cheetos down my throat. You want a car? It's strange. I'd always dreaded of the thought of losing, but now I'm here, it's... I feel... I feel serene. Calm. Like I've been cleansed, somehow. Oh, and the battle was so much fun! Did you see how I attacked with everything I had? Whew! <clears throat> yes, well, I believe that I am satisfied. I'm glad it was you on the final stage. I really am. It was a privilege and an honor to meet a fellow fighter such as you. Thank you, Akari. And may long and long may our friendship endure. Level up. Bro, to level ten. I think that's five hundred total. Yep. Yep. Ah, Joe Wild West. How are you doing today? Well, don't that just beat all? Who would have thunk this cup would end with a new hero riding in to save the day? And to think the BB Brigade fellows almost blew the whole thing. 
The car here took a stand against the environments and ended up saving the cup and the puck. Your passion for battling and your strong heart have allowed you to claim the crown. Ain't no two ways about it, Kai. You've grown into a great fighter and a champion. So, like I promised, I'm gonna make you the owner of this here Coliseo Fossil Puck. <clears throat> to all them fighters who gave their best in the competition, to all them fans who whooped there and hollered till their throats were sore, to the loyal cow hands who worked who worked day and night to make everything run smooth, with a hard thanks to y'all, I declare the Coliseo Cup over. Congratulations, Zakara. You are truly the chosen one. Like all protagonists ever. Oh, say that, Pa. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. You mind riding by the suit, the sweet in the bit? I'll be waiting. You did it, Akari! You really did it! You're the champion! It's wicked! It's awesome! It's wicked awesome! Aw oh, man, I can't believe you were my round one opponent. But hey, since you beat me there and you ended up winning, that means I would have come in second. Oh, it's so aggravating. Great job, Digga Dig. Your battle was amazing, Digga Dig. My palms are all sweaty and sore from clapping so hard. Uh, why are you just standing here, Digga? There's a whole bunch of people waiting to see you outside. Talking to your fans is part of the champion's job, Digga. You know that. <clears throat> Digga? Joe wants to see you. Hey, maybe he's finally remembered how we met two years ago. Yeah, that must be it. So in that case, I'm going with you. So me and Akari are just gonna swim by Joe's sweet okay Palutena? I was okay Palutena. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> yes, that's fine, Todd. I'll hold- I'll talk to the fans and have them hold on, Digga Dig. Great, let's go! I'm glad you came, Akari. Oh, he brought Todd. Well, this doesn't exactly concern him, but fine, he's he's here. A very nice for us all. <laughs> Let me give you a little history lesson, Akari. I want to talk to you about a king. A great man who once ruled over the Caliseo Islands. I want to talk about Zonga Zonga. Hey, Zonga Zonga is the guy they talked about in those Calio Slaplets, right? He was some horrible sorcerer that implanted his skull into other people's bodies. Didn't they lock him up in a chest and seal him in the stone pyramid? And well, look at the big brain here on Todd. That's exactly right. <clears throat> but that's not what the story ends. There's a second act that no one knows about. It takes place in the stone pyramid. Uncountable years after the skull of Zonga Zonga was sealed away. A single man, acting on pure chance, found the stone pyramid and the chest, with no idea what was inside. And the moment he cracked the lid on that stone chest, the poor man's body was stolen by Zanga Zanga. Do you want to know the name of that poor wretched man? Shall I tell you? His name was Joe Wild West. You're beginning to understand. I'm not your foolish cowboy friend. I am King Zanga Zanga. <clears throat> um, dude. Did he just say that he's Zanga Zanga? But this body is old and smelly, and living in it forces me to fake that ridiculous accent. I need a body that's strong and full of life if I want to regain the full measure of my powers. And that is why I held the Calisteo Cup. Long ago, I used this tournament to select a majestic vessel. And now I have done so once more. You should rejoice, Akari. You will become the new body for the great Zanga Zanga. With you as my vessel, I will have no trouble regaining all of my former powers. And I will use those power to rule the world! And when your body withers with age, I will simply choose another. And another. And another! I am eternal! I am immortal! I will never die! That's it, I'm out of here! The elevator, it won't work! Fools, there is no escape. I, Zanga Zanga, command you to surrender your body to me.
possible. It's a cursed skull. Probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Are y'all awake? Wow, ah, the skull's talking! And bouncing! But wait, I know you! You're Don Boneyard! But wait, maybe you're actually the skull of King Kazanga! Okay, who are you? Are you crazy, Akari? You think this skull is actually Joe Wild West? I'm afraid Akari is right there, small fry. I really am Joe Wild West. I reckon I know how crazy it sounds, but I need y'all to believe me. Especially you, Todd. How do you know my name? Because you told it to me. Remember? Two years ago after we battled that angry Allosaurus? Two years ago, the Allosaurus? Only Joe would know about that! It's Joe! It's really him! I used to dream about a place where fighters could dig up fossil rocks and battle to their heart's content. That's why I bought this here Coliseo Fossil Park. But just before the doors opened, I stumbled on the stone pyramid and decided to take a peek inside. That's when I found me a big stone chest, and, well, I reckon y'all know the rest. The skull of that Zonga Zonga feller flew up and took over my body. Here I am, rumbling and rolling around like a tumbleweed on the plains. <laughs> but my body's got a few miles on it, so Zonga Zonga start, uh, started looking for a new majestic vessel. He organized the Coliseo Cup and summoned fighters from across the world. I knew I had to stop it, so I disguised myself as Don Boneyard and formed the Bare Bones Brigade. <laughs> the flying skulls weren't the only thing I found in that stone pyramid. I also tracked down some Bonesaurus. I took as many as I could find and gave them to the BB Brigade. After that, we did everything we could to disrupt the cup. Of course, you didn't make it easy there, partners. Every time we got close, you pushed us back again. Ah, oh, heck, don't go apologizing now. Y'all were doing what you thought was the right, what you thought was right. I gotta admit, y'all surprised me at every turn. Never reckoned to get beat by the small fry I rescued two years ago. Well, I wish we had time to sit in Jara, but we don't. Old Zanga Zanga went to a lot of trouble to hold that cup, and he's gonna want to car his body. He ain't gonna give up until he has it, so y'all need a vomit of a moose from these islands right now. Joe's right, Akari. We should get out of here. What? Really? You're not leaving? I want to get Joe's body back. Why well, as I was speaking in his accent. Ah, shucks, Akari. I appreciate that. You're saying that. I really do. But I feel terrible if something happened to you. Don't be a hero. Run while you still can. I don't want to sound like a chicken or anything, Akari, but... He's a flying skull that can steal your body! Let's just leave, okay? Let's leave together. Is that a proposal? Darn it, I'm worried about you! Don't you understand? Fine then, get your skull stolen. See if I care. You sure about this, Pard? Risking an awful lot to help little old me. I have more than you'll ever know. But I gotta tell you, I don't have the first idea how to beat the Zonga Zonga feller. I know them ancient folks managed to seal him up somehow, but I don't know how they did it. Ah, horse apples. I wish we had someone around here that knew the history of these islands. <coughs> How's that now? See, Professor Scatterly knows all about the history of these here islands? Well, heck, maybe he knows how to defeat Zonga Zonga then. Come on, let's go see Professor Scatterly right away. Jo Joe's skull leaped into your pocket. Feels lumpy. That is one big pocket. Let's ride to the Calcium Museum and find Professor Scatterly. Alrighty. Gee, I wonder where he could be. Oh ho, welcome back, old bean. 
I hear you won the Calisteo Cup, what what? Capital job, that. Truly a nice spot of work. Incidentally, what is the matter? You seem rather flustered. Good heavens, you claim that Zonga Zonga has taken over Joe's body? And that the real Joe is pretending to be Don Boneyard this whole time? Oh, 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 but you are a wit, aren't you? You almost had this old man there for a second. Ain't no joke, Professor. Take a look at what happened to me. Good gravy! A skull that moves and talks! Well, this is simply fascinating. With this proof in front of me, it seems I have little choice but to believe your tale. Although Izonga Zonga really has come back, and I'm afraid it leaves us in a bit of a fix, yes, quite. If he were to seize your body and reclaim his true powers, I say it would be right terrible thing for this world. Look, Professor, we need to know how to, how old Zonga Zonga was defeated the first time. How he was defeated? Oh my, oh dear me, I'm afraid I don't know. Hold on a moment, yes, if I were to investigate there. <coughs> Here's shouting outside. I say, it sounds like quite the commotion outside, eh? What? Something must have happened. Come on, Linkari. Let's be best to go have ourselves a look. Joe's gonna leave your pocket. It still feels lumpy. Also, I still question how the hell it fit in my pocket. Because my pockets are not, or my pockets are tiny. Hello there, everyone. It's me, Joe Wild West. I'm afraid I have some sad news about our champion, Akari. I've learned that our champion is actually a member of the hated Bare Bones Brigade. Yes, it seems that Akari's been running with them since the beginning. Also, Akari has been rigging matches to be assured of victory. Our so-called champion is nothing but a fraud. This cheater is hiding out somewhere with all the other BB Brigade cronies. Hear me well. I want Akari captured and brought to me. What are you doing? Don that Zonga Zonga. He's, he's gone to trick the other fighters into doing his dirty work. <clears throat> mm, yes, this is a situation most dire. I suggest the two of you make, your go make good of your escape at once. Stay yourselves now, my friends. That announcement was a lie. That's alright, Digger. We're on Akari's side. We battled you in the cup. And we know you won by fair means. Aw, we, oh, we can't be wasting time like this. We gotta get uh, back to the BB Brigade base and fast. Digga, it, it's the Don Boneyard. What is, what's he digga doing here? I'll fill you in on the details later, kid. Right now, we gotta hurry. If they track down a car, we the world in a heap of trouble. I can't say I understand, but I will trust your judgment. Come, Pauline. We should go. Okay, digga dig. You've disappointed me. I trusted you, you know. Who knew the the champ was a member of the BB Brigade? It's sad, really. Come on, little dude. Just come with us and nobody has to get gnarly. This is bad. We're surrounded. What do we think of you? I'm not making that sound. Roar. <laughs> Todd. That was the wrong voice. Run, you guys. Run now. I'll take care of these guys. <clears throat> hey, so, remember when I said I wanted to run because I was worried about you? Well, it's not quite true. I actually wanted to run because I was afraid. I've run from a lot of things, you know? I just hang back and let you do all the hard stuff. 
You were always so brave, Akari. You took on everything, no matter how scary it was. And then Pauline took off her mask, and Rupert stood up to his father, and... I realized I was a coward. It made me ashamed. But I'm done running. No more fake stomach aches for me. You're my best friend, Akari, and I'm gonna save you. <clears throat> Go already! Todd can do this. We must believe in him. Bring it on then, chumps! I must admit, this is something of an amazing story. I believe you, and yet I find it hard to imagine that Joe's body is being controlled by an ancient sorcerer. Or that this bouncing skull is actually the real Joe Wild West. It's a shame that the cup was being held for such a nefarious purpose. Skull that lives by stealing bodies? Talk about freaky digga dig. Are you worried about Todd? This was his choice and his path. I'm sure he will be alright. Rupert's right, digga dig. Cheer up. We'll beat Zonga Zonga, get Joe's body back, and save Todd! Good heavens, I just thought of something. According to the Kalios Lablets, Zonga Zonga was defeated by the people of the Calisteo Islands. After this, they sealed him inside the Stone Pyramid, yes? Then it stands to reason that the method of defeating Zonga Zonga may re yet remain in that structure. You know where the Stone Pyramid is, yes? Sure I do. It's in the Jungle Labyrinth. If you check a bush at the deepest part in point, you'll open up a path to the Stone Pyramid. The deepest part of the Jungle Labyrinth, eh? Very well, I'm off. Whoa there, Professor. <laughs> Zonga Zonga's been telling everyone the car here is a thief and a liar. Folks know you two are friends. They see you running around, they m there might be trouble. Hold on now, I think I just got myself an idea. Here you go, try this mask on. How the hell did he bring that over? Well played, old B. No one will recognize this old man now. They might question a few things, of course, but nothing, nothing that'll like ruin my reputation or anything. Ho 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 ho. Right then, I'm off. Talio. How's that now? Professor Scadley tends to get lost and forget things. Ah, horse flies. I got a second mask here. Should have sat with someone with him. Borrowed so Joe's second mask. Hold on, Akari. Can't send you after him. He's right, Dick. It's too Dick at dangerous. Take off the mask and let me go instead, Dick. Excuse me. I appreciate the effort, y'all, but I think this is something Akari and me need to handle. Joe's skull leaped into your pocket. It feels more lumpy than even before, which I don't even know how it fit there to begin with. Right, so the jungle blimp pyramids and the jungle labyrinth. If y'all want to open up a path, you gotta check the plush at the deepest point. Alright, Pod, let's mosey. Alrighty, and with that, we have our new objective. We have been betrayed. Kind of. It's, it's way. Yeah, no, we've been betrayed. I gotta end it here, though, because I gotta go. Next time on Fossil Fighter Champions, we're going to go to the Stone Pyramid and go see if we can find a way to defeat the newly resurrected Zanga Zanga. Reasonable here, I'll see you next time.